We'll start by blocking in the major forms of our character. For this character, I've defined the major volumes and shapes. You can see the head, the nose, the eyelids, and the ears, the neck and the body have been defined. Here are some other examples of character block-ins that I have done. Notice some of the similarities and also some of the differences. I've also included a dog at the end so you can see this technique can be used for a variety of different characters. I like to start by creating a sphere and then turn that into a poly mesh. Then I'll turn on the perspective and the floor plane to see which direction it's facing. I like to point the blue arrow towards the front. Then I'll start by turning on symmetry and use the move brush to define the overall shape of the sphere. This will be our head. After I get the shape established, I'll use DynaMesh and replace it with a smooth mesh that I can sculpt in some major forms. I'll start by using the inflate brush to define the eye sockets. Hold down shift to activate the smooth brush. I can use the move brush to pull these shapes around and get it how I like it. I am now going to add the eyes. So I select the insert sphere brush. With symmetry on, it will automatically add both eyes. I then use the Move Transpose tool to push the eyes into place. Make sure your head mesh is selected in the subtool menu. And now we're going to add a few other spheres to define our nose. First, I'll add a sphere for the ball of the nose. And then I'll add another sphere for the wings of the nose. Now I'll add another sphere that will be the bridge of the nose and use the Move tool to pull that into shape. As you can see, I use the Move and Smooth tools all throughout this process. I'll create the ear by using the Insert Sphere Brush. I'll then use Hard Polish to flatten out one side and use the Move Brush to pull it into shape and flatten it out slightly. Use the Insert Sphere Brush again to add a new sphere for the neck and also one for the body. I use this process to rough out the entire body of my character. I'm just going to show the head and a little bit of the body here, but this technique works really well for a whole character. Now that I've created my basic shapes, I'll pull them into position using the Move Topological Brush. This brush will move only the sphere that I've clicked on, so I don't have to worry about messing up the other ones as I pull it around. You will also notice that I resize my brush a lot. This helps to pull around things in different sizes and get better shapes. Just hold down S on your keyboard and it will bring up a slider so you can adjust the size of your cursor. Now we'll define the mouth. We'll start by using the masking brush. Hold down control and draw out a circle. We need to invert the mask, so hold down control and click off onto the canvas. Use the inflate brush to push a hole into the mouth. You'll need to hold down ALT 
to make it push in versus puff out. As you can see, doing this created some rough edges. I need to dynamesh the character, but I don't want the ears and the nose to be joined just yet. So what I'll do is I'll select the mesh and use Split Hidden to separate the head into a new tool. Now I can redynamesh the head by dragging out a selection box on the canvas and it will redynamesh automatically. Now I can move around the mouse slightly. I don't want to get too detailed right now, I just want to establish some major forms. 